Brilliance Audio presents Inside the NBA Bubble, a championship season under quarantine. An Amazon original story by Jared Dudley and Carvel Wallace. Performed by Jared Dudley. It's my birthday. I'm sitting on the makeshift practice courts for the Miami Heat and the Indiana Pacers on a folding chair with the rest of the players, coaches, and team officials, asking myself if I want to wear this 24-7 monitor device. This room will become known as the big ballroom. The little ballrooms are where the teams will break off to meet individually. Then there is just the ballroom, where we can eat from a buffet. For the next 12 weeks, I'll be living out of room 237 of the Grand Destino Tower at Disney Coronado Springs Resort, between the Blizzard Beach and the Animal Kingdom theme parks. But first, we have to make it through 48-hour lockdown. Jerome Pickett, the NBA's head of security, outlines our two-day quarantine. No eating with teammates unless you're six feet apart. No visiting each other's rooms. No guests. No food from outside of the bubble. You have to get permission to go anywhere. If you leave, you have to quarantine, even if that means you miss games. There's a snitch hotline set up for people to anonymously tell on players who violate one of these rules. It's insanity. At best, it's like being a child. Everyone has already been tested up teen times just to get in here, but still our chairs are spaced out six feet apart. This is going to be a theme. Live in a bubble. Don't trust the bubble. They tell us just precisely how serious it's all going to be. We're going to be taking our own temperatures. We all have to wear electronic wristbands that track our movements and prevent us from entering certain spaces if we haven't completed the daily health monitoring on our My Health app. We have a 100 plus page rule book outlining all the insane protocols and procedures we have to follow. Feels like I'm holding a CD binder from 2007, my first year in the league. I understand that the goal is to try to make sure no one gets sick, but I'm sitting here and I already know I'll never do another bubble again. We're set up at the Grand Destino with the Bucks, Raptors, Clippers, Celtics, Nuggets, Jazz, and Heat. Each team gets a bunch of regular sized rooms in two suites. On our team, the suites, of course, go to LeBron and Anthony Davis, our two legends. The rest of us settle onto our king beds and prepare ourselves for whatever this is going to be. On one level, the vibe is like a big basketball camp, like the kind you used to go to with your AU tournaments or in the summertime camps in middle school. You're seeing the same guys every day, even guys that aren't on your team. You really only have a few places you can go. There are your rooms, then there are the conference rooms, which serve as the team meeting facilities, but these rooms are huge. Convention-style spaces with multiple practice courts laid out in them, and they're shared by multiple teams. You're walking down the hall past a team who is meeting looking at game footage, or the elevator opening up onto another team's motivational coach taped up around them. There is the one in hotel restaurant where we'll eventually be able to eat, Three Bridges Bar and Grill. There are the practice courts. That's basically your life. You live on a basketball compound with a bunch of other men. There are the optional ring monitors and the mandatory contact tracing tags that also monitor you. Feels like we aren't supposed to leave because we aren't. For a lot of us, this means a very significant difference in the way we conduct our lives and routines. Athletes, above all, are creatures of habit. To go out every night and compete to the level that we do. To know that every aspect of your performance can mean the difference of millions of dollars in contract money for you and your family. All this means that over the years you learn to manage every aspect of your preparation for the game. What you eat, when you nap, what you wear, when you lift. You monitor your heart rate so that it rests at certain levels. You've honed these systems over time, over careers, dating back to when you were in middle school. And now, all of a sudden, You're living in an entirely different place, operating on different schedules with limited access to practice courts and weight rooms. It takes some adjusting, and you're supposed to be doing it all while preparing yourself to compete for an actual NBA title. 
a thing that is really a once in a lifetime opportunity for most players in this league, even me.